In this video today we will give a review on the video game The Climb 2. Before we begin do us a favor and click the like button also subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be updated new upcoming Hollywood movies, news, video games and movie reviews every day. It's crazy to think that it's been nearly 5 years since The Climb. That's about how long mainstream VR tech has been out and thankfully a handful of plucky studios are still plugging away at weird games i mean it's a niche at this point but i am thankful the climb was a really fun effort from crytek to help cement why weird gaming has a place in the industry it offered a unique perspective on harrowing activity and used the vr medium to juice up the atmosphere on an already film climbing game foundation there aren't any convoluted modes or parameters in the climb to you are literally climbing up a bunch of jungle jams either for fun or for time trial bragging rights. There are five bombies, Alps, Base, Canyon City and North. From this the environment branch out into three levels, easy, medium and hard, and then two modes, casual and standard. There's a 15 jungle gyms to climb and all of them are worth playing at least once. The main appeal of the original returns in that it isn't always apparent where you are supposed to go. Sometimes you might need to grab a ladder and peek around the corner to see the next vantage point. Or you could look up or down to get a better view. VR is essential to the core of the game and it's better for it. It's a puzzly, I love that about it. The climb to also mix things up with the crumbling waves. Things Mario disappear on ledges, sharp grips, which price you and mess with your stamina meter and grips you need to clean off before grabbing. When you add in the need to constantly grab onto objects with the both hands and chalks, it gets real strategic real fast. One of the biggest wins in the half rest techniques making good use of the pressure triggers on the Oculus Touch remotes. You can half press into the maintain a zen like balance without over exerting yourself as the tutorial reminds us it is possible to full play the game without it but hardcore speedrunners will want to meter it. Each stage was fun to play but the city settings really take the care of for me. In fact, it's Sprytic is interested in returning to this IP roughly every 5 years make the next when all cityscapes are give me some DLC points, bank city, environment, auto blast to total threshold throughout as them team really gets creative here with some of the obstacles and logics. Pathing puzzle is especially harrowing to look down and see traffic bustling below you or have a bird catapult in front of your face on high ledges. With the need for extra detail, the engine flashes a bit. Some objects like flower on the winning are roughly visually, but the main things like building and grips hold together. Far away, fan feel like helicopters taking off and landing and ambient noises add to the allure of the city levels. In any case, it's very satisfying to look back and see what you have concurred. The climb to is light on content beyond to main draw as love and accessory unblock are not going to be enough to satisfy everyone once they have finished all the stages but like the original I am going to be returning to it every time I get it it climb something I hope you like our review if you like then hit the like button press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for more recent updates please leave your valuable feedback and thoughts in comments below and let us know how you like our video then we will make more informative videos for you our goal to introduce you to every Hollywood movie and English TV series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.